Oh, well, welcome back to Deer Valley. It is a wintry one today. We have about, I don't know, 10 centimeters of snow, something like that, which is not too much of a problem. And you know, I don't 100% really need to clean it up. But in my experiences, if you leave it, it just freezes, goes hard, and then you get another layer, and it just turns into an absolute nightmare. Interestingly, the ducks really, really, really are not bothered by the snow at all. I mean, they don't like me, but they're just not bothered. But the guineas, the guineas, but the guineas, are not happy about it at all. The chickens have been in and out, they're not worried, but the guineas, they're just chattering away all day. They just don't like it. Yeah, you can hear them chattering now. They've been doing that since it started snowing. Oh, I wonder what that is. That looks like a project for next week, huh? My fencing is obviously not going very well. It's not really fencing weather. And let's see about these rabbits. So the first time we got cold weather, I was really worried about the rabbits. You know, you can start reading online and if you start searching for things like what temperature a rabbit's okay till, you know, you'll easily find something that tells you that you're wrong. The coldest they've been out here so far is minus 10 and they haven't even broken a broken rhythm. There's about seven signs you should look for if your rabbits are starting to get too cold. Now the most important of which is when their noses start to run. That's when they're starting to move towards hypothermia and they need a little bit of extra help. These guys between their houses and they have nice big hutches and then their houses are three centimeters thick. So that's pretty good insulation and they're all full of fresh hay. Uh, obviously the snow was forecast. So yesterday I went out and I cleaned the hutches. I put lots of fresh hay. So they have the option to go inside if they want to. But actually every time I come and check on them, they're always just chilling out outside. A few of them have taken to eating the snow as well. I will see if I can catch that on video, but most of the time I go over there, they think they're gonna get fed. So they run over to the to the edge to come and see me instead of, uh, instead of doing that, but we'll give it a go. Eating snow. What about you, John? You're stood in the snow. Now I've also had to give Stegas some extra protection and again, I did that yesterday uh, just in case this did happen, this much snow. And all I've done is put some extra metal sheets on the front, just so there's no snow going inside. She's still got plenty of fresh air and maybe she'll say hello to us. Stiga, what are you doing? You got dirty paws, huh? What are you doing? Oh, rare footage of the guineas outside. Let's see if I can't leave this here. Catch us a bit of action.
Okay, well, one of the things I hate the most is when people say, oh, there's about six inches of snow. There's about two inches of snow. And it never looks right. So I thought we would measure it properly ourselves. Let's see what we get. And 11 centimeters. Maybe 12, in the deep bits. About down on the ground. Oh, it's closer to 15. Going skiing in a few weeks, so this should hopefully leave some perfect, perfect conditions up there on the mountain. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.